My sleep schedule is all over the place. <laughs> so which one should I do first? Do I want to have my guitar? Yeah, I want to have my guitar in this. Void Gather, okay, so it's that event. Rain Race, okay, so they've got about 12 different events, six different events, maybe? Not sure how much longer we're gonna stay in the lead team wise, because as we play and people refine their skills and come up with better strategies. Eventually, teams are going to start cross-talking on those strategies, and the players who can truly execute on those high-level strategies will be the ones who end up pulling their teams ahead. So long as they're so long as they have a few equals by their side, and or their av the average of their team is still decent enough for their qualities to shine through. <sighs> That's how it is in most competitions. Protected from the rain. Fucking damn, how did you get here already? Alright, so that's the rain race done. TF, I've already earned all my tokens, so really it's just going down to, okay, do I want to practice any of the events? Anyone else going to join? Huh? Ooh. Hello. Yeah. I can lower...
Gotta use your brakes every now and then. Ah, oh, went too wide. Damn it. Alright, continue. Can I move it back around in uh, this way? Twenty six. Damn, they're good at this. Wish I would. Wish I had been taking notes. Uh, I wish I could take notes, but it's hard to do that when you're in the middle of a match. Unless you want to forfeit any chance at winning. Uh... Mm hmm. Now, in some instances, I followed through on my momentum, which ended up wasting my time. In other instances, I cut off my momentum, and that actually wasted my time. I need to practice more. Let me at it. Let me at it. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely a fool trying to punch above their weight class in terms of skill and otherwise in life, but hey, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people like that these days. Whether or not I've got the what it takes to prove that it's worthwhile for me to do that, now that is a different line. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Damn it. Reacted too soon. can't do any of the fancy moves they do. <laughs> and while I'm at it, a little bit of extra candles. Time spent falling is time spent floating. Time spent floating is time spent wasted. Because 23 again, but it got me decent. <sighs> Fucking damn. I really wish I hadn't grown up thinking that. If I could have gotten... If I could go back and it, pull that feeling away from my younger self so, so that way they study properly and actually to keep them from struggling with it later on in life. I wonder if that would do them any good. 
But again, no point in wondering for too long, because that's a life that's not mine to live. This one is. It's where I'm at, and it's where I'll be for a while. Which means I've got to learn how to live with this version of myself. No other. <laughs> not the version I imagine I want to be. Not the version I think I could be one day. I've got to learn to live with the version of me that I have right here and now. So that way, I can be there for them. Be there for her. And to make sure I don't just keep pushing forward when I'm overwhelmed. Because once I set my mind to something and the hyperfocus kicks in, I can be really bad at checking on my HP. In that regard. Ooh. More? More! <laughs> I'm a big silly fool. At least I'm a big silly fool who's gone a lap or two around the circle. I just need to get some laps in the other areas of my life, and I should be pretty damn good then. Let's see, the other areas of li my life that I need to take laps in. Well, one would be making sure I've got an income, because holy shit, this world is so hyper-focused on it, it's becoming entirely toxic. Because hey oh hey, we don't have competitive separated from uh, casual. And we don't have any of the competitive motherfuckers actually trying to teach the casual in a way that will help it nurture communities. Instead of just mining out the foundations from underneath them. Because everyone's got their own priorities. There's basic instincts and otherwise. And there are some times where you need to refer to the basics of things. But to focus, say that it's all there is is to live a lie kind of a little self adding self congratulatory pat on the back conclusion of okay keep to the basics completely and utterly it's like yes but no respect the basics understand that there are always more things to learn from the basics but don't use them as an excuse to stop Keep yourself away from learning the complexities, too. Otherwise, you're just going to shortchange your own growth and your own understanding of life. In a way that may just leave you. <laughs> One. Brain going on a tangent. One moment. I want to bet at all four of us back there were just kind of waiting on that one person to light it because we didn't have the quests done. We didn't want to trigger the cutscene of that happens when you get too close. <laughs> If I had a million years to live, I could become like a fraction of what I would think my fictional self is capable of. But I'm not gonna live that long. I'm only gonna live like what? 
60, maybe 100 years, if I'm lucky. Meh. But no, we are burning the darkness. Yes, bright shadows and all, not just the dark ones. If bright shadows are the runoff of bright lights, then dark shadows are the runoff of dark lights. Bright and dark. <sighs> Come on, none of you attack me, I'm just passing through. What was that? There's someone else over there? That is a yes, okay. I wonder if they're going to be doing the spirit's memory. I hope so. That's where my thoughts are stuck at right now, so <laughs> I'll just have to accept that instead of trying to get rid of them. 
completely. Seriously, though. To everyone who would just run around shaming others over past misdeeds and other than that lies. Is it really worth it to play into someone else's weakness only to make yourself feel better? Is it really? Is... Sure, I've made that mistake once or twice in the past before, on my own, in ways that I don't ever want to repeat, but that doesn't mean I ever wanted it to happen in the first place. The idea of something and the reality of it are not the same thing, and we're stuck living in reality. Not a total, isolated concept. So why do we default to trying to think about things as total, isolated concepts? I'm willing to bet that for a good many people, the answer is, I don't know. And I'm willing to bet that because they feel ashamed that they don't know. But let's be real here. On some level, you don't have to feel ashamed of that. If you genuinely don't know and you don't know how to put what you understand yourself into words, that is a huge struggle. Especially when we're all speaking the same language, but using different definitions. Also, you do realize the human brain just simplifies down on things to try and save on energy, right? It's a natural... It's a natural habit of our bodies to actually try and simplify our understanding of things down to the smallest amount possible to get by in life so that way it's not wasting energy. But in doing so, our brains end up shortchanging us and leaving us with half-baked understandings of things rather than the full depths of understanding. Which can lead us into isolated ways of thinking. The further into isolation you go, the more the fear ramps up. So it can be a damn hard struggle to speak in any regard. So in that case, then, let's try and learn how to listen to each other and hear each other properly without letting ourselves be pulled aligned by those of us who are just going to be entirely assholes. Because let's be real here, there are some complete and utter douches out there. Some real bitches who, frankly speaking, don't give a shit about you or me. And although they may get ahead in the short term, time and time again, in the long term, they're setting us up for the collapse of our very existence.
No one religion is going to stop them. No one truth is going to be able to contain them. And for as much as I wish we didn't have to learn their skill set to progress onwards and overcome them, in some cases I really do think we do need to. Not in the sense of, okay, let's fight fire with fire, but more so, okay, let's understand the, where the fire started from in the first place and what the struggles of living with it are. Of course, some people won't be wanting to do that, and honestly, I can't blame them. Uh, I'm getting into big, deep, rambly talks again this late at night. Fucking damn it. It's not like I've got my own life figured out. As if. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, how are you going to solve the limited resources? Well, we can just reuse some of those resources. Okay, how are you going to get a natural process out of those resources that uh, spends the least energy and gets the most results? With machines! Yeah, machines are quick, but they also eat up things quite quickly. Are you sure you can keep going and going and going with just isolationism? By just uh, taking something and uh, secluding it from anything else? Because I'm gonna be real, I... That's a way to survive, that's not a way to live. That's a way to... struggle. It's... not... going to help you grow. It'll help protect you from damage, but only so much. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm still in a sleep call with a goober. Hold up. Ah, but I'm not. <laughs> I hope you sleep well, love. <sighs> and sure, what I'm saying sounds wise. Sounds wonderful and lovely. Okay, let's all understand each other. But let's be real here. Understanding takes time and energy that a lot of people don't have. Oh, I barely have enough of it as it is. And it's coming at the cost of me earning no fucking income. And being entirely scared on where my future is going to end up. So at this point, really, there are no safe bets on anyone's future. Because, holy fuck, the world is in a shitty place right now. Sure. In a better world, we could all become um, really amazing people, who some, where some just live basic, simple lives, not worrying about things they're not ready to handle, and others go on to grasp at the multifaceted nuance of life itself, able to shift and bend in ways that are just absolutely stunning. 
and beautiful. But we don't live in that world, so we've got to figure out how to just get along first. Which means finding a way to create from all the negative energy some positive energy. <laughs> sure, it's not just negative and positive like Jujutsu Kaisen. If that was the case, then oh, it would be an interesting world. But one thing I do know is that neg negative negative mindsets and otherwise are resources in and of themselves, not just to specific kinds of people, but to their opponents as well. After all, you take someone from one state of mind to another, and it, they've seen both sides of the coin, not only does that mean they've got insights that uh, you may you yourself may not have, it also means they aren't going to be blinded by what they believe because they've seen what it's like. Well, there's less. Hmm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't phrase it like that because it's less likely, not an absolute. And sure, generalizations can sound like absolutes, but everyone's trying to speak as clearly as possible with what they can and what time they can. There's not enough time to go into every single detail. So we're trying to work by relativities and things that can overlap with each other instead of isolate. Hence why sometimes there are exceptions among the rules, and rules among the exceptions. Uh, I could run in circles like this with my vocabulary day in, day out. It wouldn't change a fucking thing, damn it. There's one thing I want to leave behind in my life, it's some kind of experience, some kind of piece of art that actually causes, that can be used as a tool for growth instead of just being beauty or pr beautiful or pretty. Like sure, there will always be those who focus on one aspect of whatever I make and take it to an extreme that I would never really think about. Because, hey, oh hey, everyone's at different stages in their life. Some people's natural native space is different from others. How are you faster than me? What the fuck? Time and again, I see other people outpacing me. It's like... What in the world is going on? <sighs> Thought the max speed cap was different. <laughs> and there I go off on another tangent. Uh, nothing to do on the way, but it is, does make sure that we don't miss out on this for whatever parts we can still catch. Get the fuck over here, turtle. I want to burn that darkness off of you and get a lot of points. <laughs> I'm not better than anyone. I may have areas where I'm more knowledgeable or understanding that I can outcompete someone in. 
But that also means that other people have understandings and things that they can do way better than me. Which is why I want to learn from others more often than not. Even if it's just by simply observing them. Because the insights of people can be really surprising sometimes. Really beautiful too. <laughs> Okay, so clam over here. <laughs> Being able to do that in the middle of water really is funny. Now that said, how do I want to plan out my route now? Hmm. So, like this, but then we go over. So, somewhat in reverse, then. Alright. Making use of spatial reasoning to understand concepts spatially rather than because they do concepts absolutely exist in non-Euclidean space to the point where it's a pain in the ass to deal with them. At the same time, it's exactly because they live in non-Euclidean space that our reality can be so multifaceted. Damn it, I touched the ground. Because <sighs> the ultimate problem in all of these situations, regardless of what concept it is, is, okay, how do we keep the fundamentals and the structure stable in order to get an output without creating an entirely isolationist environment? Or, to phrase it better, how do you organize systems and structures so that way they are resistant to corruption in a way that is self-cleaning and self-organizing? Instead of just, okay, it's resistant for this time. Because in that way, government cities and structures are probably going to be very similar to organisms in and of themselves. Also, how the fuck do you get around the social aspect of it all? Because on one hand, there's all this beautiful presentation that goes into things, and on the other hand, 
There's people who can just throw their money at other skilled people and ask them to do shit that makes them look good. Ugh. I think deep, but just because I think deep doesn't mean that I'm able to solve stuff. To be in the deep end or the shallow end, both have their own fucking challenges, and I'm tired of people trying to say that either one is better than the other. <sighs> A good ideal would be for other people to be able to shift from one end to the other and then go on to live in their preferred environment while still having the skill set to understand and deal with their the other environment in a way that allows for growth and change oh. and this is the reason why i call myself a fool is because part of my brain will never give up on this We'll never stop chewing on this line of thought. It's just like, for fuck's sake, I don't even know how to pay my fucking bills because I don't even have any bills because I don't have an income. <sighs> Which means I'm living off of another person and that doesn't feel good because then it feels like, okay, so my skill set, entirely useful in its own category. But unless someone happens to need that category, I feel fucking useless. <sighs> on one hand, I'm glad I'm ambitious. On the other hand, holy fuck, I wish I could study properly like a regular fucking person. Instead of throwing myself in the deep end and hoping to learn facets and nuances that I could have easily learned by writing it over and over and over and over again and solving problems of different sorts that all focused on the same subject theme. Ah. Because I've still got to figure out, okay, how to do my taxes. Before I even have taxes. Because hey oh hey. If I don't, I'm just going to be stressing myself into it. And that means I could miss out on, like, okay, here's what money you actually owe. And here's what you're told you owe. And how you, how you don't know, uh, fucking, why does it circle back around to money? I hate money! But at the same time, money has a necessary use in the case of, okay, limited resources. And, okay, which efforts are being seen as useful? But of course, if it's the only form of uh, dividing effort spent and resources used into worth and quality. Worth, quality, and quantity. Then ultimately you're going to have people who are just uh, ruining the entire field. Which is why the black market is still a thing. And I'm glad I don't even know how to access that, because for fuck's sake, that would mean, hey oh hey, I've been dumb enough to try go look 
to try going and looking for it. No thank you! I don't want to fucking end up noticed. Fuck off. World terrifies me. Thank you very much. Oh fuck. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, I could have started the flight mode earlier in the. I don't want to die. Thank you very much. Fuck off with that bullshit. Sure, I don't want to live, but hey, I already know what the bad option is. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so no, and then yes. Okay, so it's angle of approach matters too. Ah! That was cutting it close. And not in a fun way. You want to know why I'm talking about systems and structures that are resistant to corruption? In a self-renewing way rather than a durable way. Because if you go too far in durability, then people forget how to make it, and they consider it if something is too good, eventually people will take it for granted and forget about how to maintain it. If something is too bad, it wastes resources in the long run. Quality is quantity, but if you go too far in quality, then eventually quantity is going to be start reaching zero, as it, people forget how to even fucking make it. Because they don't respect it, and they think they can just make something similar than enough. <laughs> the worst thing is that doesn't just apply to physical things, that applies to concepts and diagrams and information too. Uh, have it be just good enough to where it functions and can be, be reliable somewhat. Have it just bad enough to where people don't go disrespecting its existence. And saying, oh, it'll last forever. Because that's the last thing you want people doing. Because when, when that happens to any sort of resource, then the world ends up like where we're at. Okay, then how do you manage and distribute resources without having to worry about people stealing and all that? And it's just like, oh, and there goes the entire reason why we have society in the first place. And even that is ineffective because in some regards we simplify it down to needing tighter security, more drastic measures. In reality, it's just, okay, there are multifaceted problems throughout the entire world that you can't always predict or avoid. So you gotta recognize that some loss is going to happen, otherwise you're not going to be able to adapt to the reality of what happens. <sighs> and there are people who can explain this all in math instead of words, and I'm just fucking amazed by that because it means they can actually do the calculations on this shit. Of course, if you get too lost into the numbers, then you're engulfed by the concept and you become blind to the entire reason why you entered the concept in the first place. 
Because if you get engulfed by a concept to the point of being blindly devout to it, then you have truly done yourself a disservice. If you dismiss a concept just because you cannot be fully devout to it, then you're a bigger fool than I am. I'm going to be real. You can have your home territory, the things you believe in and f that keep you comfy and safe. That well, that's all well and good. No one's going to say that your existence isn't real. If someone does, well then, I'm going to fucking punch them. I don't mean I'm going to punch them physically. No, I'll enter their dreams and punch them, scare the shit out of them. The fuck you think you're doing, you little shit? At the same time, no, your reality and experience... Your experience and feelings do not define reality. They reflect off of it and thus deserve to be treated and respected as such, as real. But they do not create definitions in and of themselves. They do not define what is and isn't true. They define what you believe, not what is regardless of what you believe. Well, I nearly died there. Uh, me yammering on like this, as per usual. Because <laughs> is this going to get me a job, an income? Well, I mean, on one hand, if I wanted to be a completely manipulative bitch and say, I'm the greatest thing in the world, and sell myself on that point, then yes, it could get me a job and an income. But let's be real here. That's not where we're at. And that's not the kind of person I want to be. I don't want to just live a role. I want to actually have an impact. Not a negative one. A positive one. Even if the best of my impact is just... Living a quiet life at some time later on down the road instead of acting or trying to do something. Because inaction is still an action. Inaction is a choice and it does still have an impact. For better and worse. Damn, that was one hell of a jump. Now... <coughs> oh, how many rabbit holes can you circle through tonight, brain? Fifty. Let's not. Let's please not. Because <sighs> if you get lost in the rabbit hole of trying to get everything perfect, then you inherently remove yourself from the moment and remove your ability to affect the moment in meaningful ways. At the same time, if you just jump to your own conclusions and you never learn from situations, then ultimately you won't grow and you'll just have a set end result to what your actions can do. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Or rather, to put it simply, if you fail to continue growing, then you set yourself up. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> then you set yourself up for eventually letting your skill set and your ability to create positive impacts decay over time, as you take for granted what you've learned. It's... It's not just black and white, there's color and gray too. There's clarity and obfuscation. There's bright, there's dark, there's colorful, there's monotone. <clears throat>
And this is part of the reason of why I consider myself to be useless. Because I can get caught up in my own thoughts like this. <clears throat> and people are like, okay, but... I can... Which is why most people stick around to just simply trusting in one basic thing and uh, sticking to it as their bet. But that in then that in then in and of itself gets back to the root problem of okay, so you're choosing to isolate, and it's like yes because I need to live and not go crazy. And it's like you can't blame people for that, but at the same time, if it people aren't asked to grow or change ever, then you're just going to keep ending up with the world in this state again and again. Which means ultimately, safe spaces to recover from are needed, such as home territory and whatnot, but challenge spaces are just as equally needed too. You can't isolate a concept out of existence, because ultimately, in doing so, you may very well create the initial circumstances that allowed that concept to flourish in the first place. That problem or issue. It's like, okay, well, what do I prioritize then? And it's like, that is a case-by-case -case basis that is not easy to deduce at all. Game, stop flinging me around into the wall. I want to go down and up. Thank you very much. Not even to mention how people don't like acknowledging emotional logic because it's uncomfortable to state something so clearly because people identify their feelings and their psychological structure as themselves even though on one hand yes it is on another hand no it is not it is an extension of yourself <sighs> And then trauma gets involved and it all goes down the drain. And you do need to have some level of standards and a sense of normality, otherwise people are going to start losing themselves in concepts and getting into idealism to a point where people aren't listening to each other. At the same time, that doesn't mean repressing people. It means trying to figure out, okay, what is it that I understand that they don't? And what is it about my worldview that is useful to me, but not them? I fucking can't put it into words. Okay, good, I didn't touch the floor. I like floating above it. Can't fly, but I can float. <laughs> hmm. Now, all this stuff is the reason why I don't want to ever become any kind of big thing or pop be popular to a degree where I have to worry about people chasing me after me. No, thank you. Because it means I'd lose touch with the grounded reality of things. 
means I wouldn't recognize the store worker who has to deal with people who don't even consider what it's like to work a nine hour shift. <sighs> and deal with ungrateful fucks who don't even take the time to be polite. Of course, that's because everyone's definition of polite can actually look very different. To one person, being polite can mean not saying the obvious. To another person, being polite can mean saying the obvious because it needs to be addressed and it, people don't need to be left in suffering. It's striking a balance between all aspects of life is just truly an insane task, and yet it's a task we're forced to try and do over and over and over again as a species when we want to live. Life is cruel, mean, and unfair, but it does give a shit. Whether that's for better or not, I don't even want to know at this point. <sighs> I really do hope my silly little guess, my silly little theory on fusion is wrong. Otherwise, it's going to take a whole lot more research and development than people want to believe. What the fuck? I stopped my momentum, I pressed jump, and pressed forward. What the fuck was that game? <laughs> Damn right I'm grumpy. Because the world is confusing as fuck. And I was told it shouldn't be. Well, you want to know something? If it was going to be this confusing from the start, I would rather... I had to deal with it on some level, at least, instead of isolate myself from the complexities and be lost in, okay, I don't know how to adapt to this world because I was never given a chance to understand what it was like. Because, yeah, people can take their time and just do all sorts of- What? <sighs> people can take their time and learn all sorts of things. Oh, fuck, that completely derailed my Roomba. It was going in a straight line, and now I don't know where the fuck it is. Because, <sighs> yes, making sure people have a childhood and people have a safe life growing up is essential to keep them from dealing with trauma for the, or the rest of their lives. However, isolating them from negative experiences completely is only going to serve to hinder them when they need to deal with possible negative experiences. So you can't just do one or the other. You go to an extreme of anything and you'll probably destroy something else. Uh, it's incredibly frustrating. Okay, good. I'm getting that a little bit faster. A bit more clean. A bit cleaner, too. It's not really the kind of night where I want to go and try and exceed my previous best. It's the kind of night where I just want to ramble and fucking get this done and over with. Because the game is hella fun. But by damn, it also t takes up a decent portion of time. 
And I just realized I didn't stop recording from back when uh, I finished up the events, like I intended to. Fucking damn it! Intention deficit disorder? No, intention deficit disorder. Holding on to an intention is like trying to fucking hold on to a burning rope. It's not easy. It's not fun. And by all means, I'd rather just shift to another rope and wait for this one to burn itself out and regrow. <sighs> burning rope, burning vine. Get replaced, I don't fucking know. Trying to change from a perfectionist into a... I don't want to go into an ultimist. What the fuck, Rain? That is a horrible word that just leads back around to the same fucking psychological problem. Of, okay, perfect. If it isn't perfect, it isn't good enough. And it's like, no... Because there is no room for growth in perfect. There is no room for creativity or life with imperfect. If something can be absurd, that is what I want to aim for. If something can be fucking absurd as hell, then even if it feels like it shouldn't work, it still has the potential for making more than just up for getting more than just the sum of its parts. the jump kind of killed it, but we still kind of made it. One of these days I'd love to do that so cleanly that I'd leave no tracks on the snow, even if it is just me floating in the water above it. thing is, this is just a state of mind for me. This isn't who I am in total. This is just another state of mind that I have. Has some benefits, has its own, has its own deficits. And learning to manage when I'm in this state of mind, and being able to connect it to other states of mind fluidly in ways that don't suppress, repress, or dismiss the other states of mind, let alone this one, <sighs> it is just a difficulty and a half. Emotional logic and logical logic are not the same thing. Sure, there are parallels between, but 
the chemistry of each logical set is different between the two systems because the variables have different dynamics. <sighs> That's the reason why entire fields of study can be made out of one topic, because it's that way for practically every concept out there. Why did I have to end up interested in the fundamental reality of things instead of, you know, just a narrow niche field off in the distance that makes me a lot of money? Would have been nice. Would have been real nice. aspect of life that I don't even want to ever get have to deal with or get involved in, but I know that if I really put up a fight, it's going to happen one way or another. If I end up actually being enough of a nuisance or positive impact. And that is psychological and fight. And that is being forced into the tactics game of not just psychology and social system, not just social situations, but the tactics of financial situations, the tactics of psychological situations, the tactics of physical situations. It's, it's a fucking nightmare. And I'm a fool for thinking I can even try to tackle it, but no, great, this fool is going to try her damn best. Because along the way, I'll at least be able to run into other people who may be able to do something as well. Who may be able to help promote a change, promote a growth in this stagnant ass world of ours that's so focused on going in two opposite directions at once in idealistic glee people are so caught up in the fantasies of things that they don't want to face the reality because the reality sucks but if you run away from the reality of it then you don't just set yourself up for failure you set up up people around you for failure, too. <clears throat> it's honestly one of the reasons why I genuinely believe that people who have founded religions or otherwise, if it wasn't for the purpose of creating and inflating their own ego, then it was their way of trying to disguise a skill set of tools and otherwise, an initial skill set of tools and otherwise, that would actually help keep things going. I.e., this was someone else's last crack at taking a look at the mess we call life and saying this is how it should be done. But unfortunately, because corruption is inevitable, even if it can be resisted and overcome, that means that the good intentions can be mired underneath the, the dredges of history. And if you don't acknowledge the history of something, then you're truly just living more of a dream and a fiction. Intentions matter, but impacts matter more than intentions. That's not to say it impacts matters solely and completely. Ugh, trying to fucking cut this all into words. Why the fuck do I give a shit? Why the fuck do I give a shit, damn it? Because, no, there's financial pressure, there's psychological pressure, there's physical pressure. Uh, there's
there's social pressure, though technically social can fall underneath psychological, but that's not always the case, so I divide the two into separate categories, so that way the asocial among us can also still be acknowledged. Fucking dabbing on my that's not even to get how kids simply looking at the world and coming to their own conclusions based on the environments around them can end up coming to entirely terrible conclusions due to how their own nature mixes with their environment. Because what kid early on in life wants to recognize, oh hey, my own bad habits are what, are what is isolating me from others. My own actions and understandings of the world are what isolate me from social situations and understanding jokes. Being able to understand sarcasm. I can tell you, that's not exactly a fun thing to acknowledge. But I'm glad I fucking acknowledged it, because otherwise I wouldn't be here, and I'd be another fucking... Oh, dense blinded... Oh, idiot out there thinking... Oh, I'd be a fucking insult. <laughs> no, thank you. fucking hate and love this world. I want to see it burn. I want to see it prosper. I just want to live a fucking normal life without having to worry about someone else's psychological state ruining mine. <sighs> but no, I'm too much of a fool, so I can't stop caring even if I try to. Then I've seen the limits of what trying to stop caring does to a person. Apathy is just another drug. It's not a solution. Sure, you can take it like you take a painkiller to function in the midst of unreasonable pain when things are otherwise fine. But if things ever go south and you seriously need to take some time to take care of yourself and recover and get your own needs met, then by goodness, holy shit, are you in danger of fucking overlooking your own limits as if they are just toys or playthings or obstacles that can be bought out with enough determination and grit. Because the reality is, yeah, they can be bought out with enough determination and grit, but can you can your psychological structure handle the pressure of that determination and grit clashing with whatever the fuck you're trying to do? If it can't, then oh boy, you're in for a treat. If you get to not only see your intentions go down the drain, but also get to see the worst of yourself come out, even though you never wanted it to. I hate taking from experience. Oh, what's that? Flicker is prickly and grumpy underneath the surface? Damn right I am. I'm prickly and grumpy because I give a shit. Give too much of a shit. No, I don't give too much of a shit, and fucking... Thank you... And I'm sorry, little Manta Ray, but your time on this planet is over. And then there are people losing themselves inside of logic and intellectual superiority. Don't even get me started on that level of childishness.
Because it's like, yes, you can understand a thousand and one things and be versatile and be great in many different territories. But if you forget your basics and you disrespect other people, then by damn, all of it is fucking useless. me and my stupid yammering mouth thinking <laughs> feels like I actually have enough oxygen running into my brain for once when I talk like this <coughs> Because hey oh hey, I usually don't get to talk like this. I usually don't get to think like this. Because most people are fucking intimidated by it for some reason or another. Or because ultimately they are unable to match the social space of this conversation level. And uh, ultimately I don't want to leave people out. I want to include them by damn it. Oh, why did I have to be born a fucking fool? If there can be a healthy structure in place for people that have to suddenly end up dealing with the deep end of things after living a simple life and being entirely unprepared for the complicated nuances of it, then by damn it, that should be a prim primary structure in the first place. Also, how did this happen? What the fuck? Hey, yo, I'm just a pillar. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck was that? What in the actual fuck was that? Also, I believe I saw wax. Nope, I'm hallucinating. Don't fly above it, you might accidentally trigger it. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> And let's be real here, this takes actually a lot more energy than just existing like I do in my passive state. Which is the reason why you don't see me like this more often. Because I don't see opportunities to put it to functional use, and because, guess what? Not everyone likes staying awake and facing reality 24-7. If I had to do that, I'd go insane. I'd rather be able to fall asleep and just have a, some simple moments in my life too, thank you very much. The fuck was that, motherfucker? You looking for me, little shit? I'm right here. Ah, <sighs> the 
And that's another part of me I don't like either, because, hey, oh hey, ADHD brain, naturally prone to trying to pick a fight. Because it thinks, okay, I can at least fight it out. And no, I don't mean by throwing fists. If that was the case, I'd be charged for several criminal activities, of which I would survive none of. I swear, people think they can get away with shit more often than not, and it baffles me as to why. Like, yes, sheer audacity is going to take you pretty damn far in life, but no, you getting away with something is not, oh hey, they never managed to pin you down or track you. That's not really getting away with it. That's more of... How do you phrase that? Because to me, getting away with it means being able to leave no trace of an impact. Or at least have the impact be on the positive end. Uh, but then you have to go into scaling how impacts weigh in both negative and positive, what angle you're looking it at, because in some cases a negative impact in the short term can have a greater impact in the long term, but that's still not a fun thing to deal with because then there are the naive idealists who are going to be like, but we shouldn't have to do bad things in the short term. And it's like, I wish you were right, young one. I wish you were right. <sighs> this is the reason why I don't talk most of the time. Because my level of thinking can easily induce an existential crisis in people. And I don't want to cause psychological damage like that. So if you stuck around for any of this, uh, please take care of yourself. And uh, please, if you need to treat something I said as nonsense, then treat it as nonsense. Because <sighs> if there's one thing I know I'm starved for, it's being able to just enjoy simple moments. Being able to have a social home to return to. Maybe in some instances that's been me not recognizing what a social home actually looks like, or me taking for granted a social home, and then just backpedaling the mo moment I make any kind of mistake. But... Yeah. I am an adult, a child, a teenager, and an idiot all at once. And it doesn't even earn me an income. So instead, I just have to focus on surviving instead of living like I want to. Just like every other person in the world. And that... That is why people are equals. Because no matter what skill set you learn, no matter how far you make it in the world, you're still going to need the fundamentals, the foundations. And if you take those foundations and fundamentals for granted, be it to traits about yourself or otherwise, 
then you're going to end up with a nasty surprise at some point later on in your life. Please. Don't lose yourself out there, okay? Don't let yourself stay stagnant out of fear. But don't just abandon one concept to lose yourself in another. That's... That's not living. That's just surviving. People deserve to do more than just survive. They always have. All right, I'm back. Anyone here this late at night? Nope. Oh, well, I guess I've gotten... Oh, wait, no. There is someone. Okay, they're still there. Oh, nice. They know how to do this. No, they don't. Okay. Okay, so this moth, I think they're moths. Mm -hmm. Where are you go- they're going for the light, oh that is adorable. Where are they going? Yeah, okay, so they're definitely a moth. There's no other faster source of what? Well, okay, never mind. close.
Maybe I should just accept that I'm not going to complete this. I'm not going to be... Why the hell did I have to be the stupid kind of an idiot who's like, oh. Well, if that's what Nirvana looks like, then I kind of want to be able to bring other people along with me too. And it's just like... Oh... It's probably not what Nirvana looks like, though. Please. Fair enough. Even if I did reach Nirvana, what the fuck use is it in this physical world? It's not going to earn me an income. Being enlightened isn't going to let me solve other people's problems. It's just going to let me say, hey, joy oh joy, it'll work out in the end. And it's like, okay, but you're not supposed to solve other people's problems. Damn right I'm not supposed to, but do you think I can trust this world to leave, leave it to others? Fuck off. <sighs> if I wanted, if I had that level of trust left, I would have fucking had a job by now. I would still be in college, I'd still be studying in psychology, and I'd still be trying to fucking devote myself to a specific discipline or field of study, but no, because the deep... <sighs> Weirdly enough, that is a interesting mental parallel my brain just made. I'm gonna have to cut it out in a moment here, but...
which is really awesome, but I really am not the kind of person who goes balls to the wall, okay, let's try out everything, no thank you. That's not who I am. <sighs> oh. Wow. I didn't think you could get out here. I thought the world just stopped you at some point. Anyways. Where? Okay, so it's just a respawn plane. Good to know. And again, that's all going to get cut out, and instead you'll probably just hear me saying, Hey, oh, hey, uh, blah, 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 blah. Or whatever the fuck I didn't say. Whatever the fuck I said that wasn't in that line of thought. But in any case, yeah. There may, not be, there may not be any sacred concepts in our world, but by damn it, that doesn't mean some concepts and things aren't worth fighting for. Because <sighs> hiding inside of petty absolutes and isolationisms of how reality should work instead of how it actually works is what overgrown children do. At some point, I want to be able to grow up without abandoning the child within myself. Alright, I'm curious now. <laughs> you and me both, friend. You and me both. <laughs> oh, that last little note at the end. Have fun. Fucking teasing. Taunting. The line between teasing and taunting is a small one. But it is still a necessary point to acknowledge. It's not something you can overlook for fuck's sake. Do I really want the mask this person has? The answer is no. And now for my second instrument of the day. <laughs> hmm. 14, 14. The dress is kind of pretty. Mm, boots. What is this?
Like, hell, I'm spending money on a game where I can just earn the stuff by grinding. Sure, I may miss out on things I want, but hey. What I want and what I need are not the same thing. And I'm glad to recognize that, even for as much as it frustrates me sometimes. Every person on this planet is stupid in their own individual way. And if I run into someone who says they aren't, well then, they're just showing it on the surface. <laughs> We're back! And that'll be the end of this recording, cause fuck no. Bye bye Have a wonderful night. It's a wonderful day. Even if you only snuck by for a simple part, or watched the entire thing through, I appreciate it. May I continue to exist, and hopefully learn how to be more entertaining in the long run. Bye!